national outbreak. More than two dozen states involved. Ten cases across the state of Michigan. Six of those cases are technically here in Wayne County proper. However, Detroit does have its own health department, so it is handling four of the six Wayne County cases. Here at the health department, they're investigating the two other cases locally. Now, this strain is called Salmonella Heidelberg, and it's been traced and tracked to ground turkey. However, no brand or no source has been pinpointed anywhere in the country. But here is what health officials can tell us about the local people who got sick. They were not hospitalized. They were both adults, and they presented with uh, symptoms varying from four to nine days of uh, diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, and they recovered spontaneously, and they are doing well right now. What should people know about how to prevent this? Oh, absolutely. It's very important to wash hands with uh, warm water and soap before and after handling uh, raw meat. Extremely important. And also to make sure that raw meat and poultry pro products are actually kept separate from other food items. That's extremely important. And to cook raw meat and poultry to 165 degrees uh, Fahrenheit temperature. Dr. Danish also wants to remind us that we are still talking about eggs and chicken, uh, you know, any type of poultry. I guess that's going to have to include duck as well. And she says it's probably a good idea for everyone to invest in a thermometer internally because uh, this time of year is when they always see these cases. And to put it in perspective, she wants to remind us that actually they usually have many more than just these number of cases to investigate. Reporting live from Wayne, I'm Val Clark, Channel 7 Action News. Joanne, back to you. Yeah, meat thermometers are not expensive, Val, and they really can be a lifesaver. Thank you very much. We have a few details on salmonella now from the Centers for Disease Control. Symptoms include diarrhea, fever, and abdominal cramps. Most people experience that about 12 to 72 hours after being infected, and the illness typically lasts about four to seven days. The infection can spread to the bloodstream unless patients are treated quickly with antibiotics.